so this is uh, what I'm left with out of the brush plate it's probably got a name I'm ashamed I don't know it but it doesn't really matter anyway that split when I got a bit naughty with the drill and drilled the rivets out I nearly decapitated myself so anyway that one's got to go on like that and then this one obviously just has to go right opposite so I've got these holes uh, so what I'm going to do is use the trusty bench drill to drill out a hole here somewhere and then fix that down that's bent I don't know if you can see it it's definitely not straight so yeah I'm going to use the drill and drill some holes and put bolt in because there's plenty of, there is a little bit of space around this bottom end so it should be okay with the bolt head sticking out so yeah that's the next job so I've done that <clears throat> cleaned out those holes and now firstly I'm going to bolt that in there and then I need to screw make a hole just hit uh, here somewhere so then bolt that through so that won't take long hopefully Now be okay with a four mil bolt and this one a little bit more naughty. Okay. Just gonna go get some bolts and then put that together. Alright. So just gonna try the fiddly little bolting. And hopefully this will bolt in here, through there, and then we'll be on our merry little way. Come on, baby. Don't you give me no shit. That's not bad. Uh, see, it's not level. The other bit has to be at this level, so it probably wouldn't even matter 
to be honest because that is that's fairly flat that way I think I'll just leave that so they've got to be done up and now the other one which may be more tricky obviously has to go like that basically as long as it's right in the middle and it's solid that's fine So yeah, we can do that, no problem. I don't know if you can see from there, but the brush is making full contact with the motor, so it doesn't matter that it's flat. So yeah, I'm just going to put the other one in and see, see what happens. See that? Shouldn't do that. And then this one's a bit trickier. Right there. So I've got to memorise that. This could go bad. Sweet, that's in the right place, that's, that's pretty much that sorted. Yeah boy. Yeah, I can definitely live with that. Sweet, I'll get that on and then we're almost good to go. So this is where we're at at the moment. That's how I've fixed it as best I can. You see the bit where it's missing, where they got smashed. So yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Hopefully it will work. So I'm just going to show you the method for holding the brushes in. Got to get just get a tiny bit of wire. So what we need to do is pull that bit back. I don't think you can see there, I'll put some plastic washers on so that this, the copper wire doesn't hit the metal. So I'm just going to make a loop. Put it through there. And then bring that round. Let's put it through a hole on the other side hold it in place make sure it's over enough yeah that's good Not perfectly level, I know that, but that's fine. Right, so I'm hoping this is going to fit in, but if it doesn't, we need some adjustment. Yep, it's not going to fit in. So, need to try and move those. 
back. Those bits of wire can come out, they're not really needed. He says, it round, 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 round. So, that's kind of ready. I don't like using glue, but I'm going to get a bit of glue in there. Just keep that there. You see the square hole? That's where the bolts go through. So, this seems a bit like Master Control Program off Tron. But that sounds alright. I should have given that a bit of a clean, but I'll do that now. WD or thinners. That's okay, so what I've got to get ready to do now is slide the casing over and the bitch is getting the bolts through because the bolts stick to the magnets on the inside of the case but once I can get one through and get a bolt on it that'll be cushy. so I'm quite happy with that how that's ended up it's in nice and tight and just right really if you look at the clearance focus Focus, thank you. Yeah, just right, look at that. Nice. Look at that wiring in there, look. Mental. Crazy. An object of beauty, look at it. Those little segments. Like master control. That's a bit of welded on earlier. Good and strong, but if I power it up and it's still super wobbly, then I shall be removing the Jedi lightsaber. Sweet! So, this is it. It's all been put back together. So I just want to give it a little, little go, see if there's any less vibration from it. Uh, I'm going to check what the batteries are saying. Twenty six. That's not bad. So let's give it a little giggle. That's not good. That's not good. Don't know why that's done that, but that must be a short inside somewhere. Whoa. Right. Let's see. I'm just going to go plug the solar panel and try and give it a squirt off that. Right, I'm hoping that sparking was just because I was being a dick, pardon my French, and I had the, the motor casing was touching that. So we shall soon find out. 
please don't kill me. Ooh, yes. Sweet. <laughs> Oops. I'm trying like that. I think it will reach, but. Still a bit bouncy, but definitely a lot better. So, yeah, that's the fix. So I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to go put it inside somewhere so it don't get rusty. Sweet. See, not a lot of sun today. The sun's over there. Panels down here. Uh, but what I want to try and do just quickly is running the motor off the solar panel just to see if it will work when there's uh, no sun So that's it running <coughs> off a solar panel with hardly any sun. So that's pretty good. I'm actually gonna chop the uh, stirry lightsaber bit off, I think, see if we get less rattle. So I'm just gonna go do that now. So let's get rid of that. Let's see how much of a breediness we got. Ready? Three, two, one, lift off. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that. That is sweet. Nice. Please, without hardly any vibration at all. So, and it, it didn't run that well before. I'm going to leave that on and I'm going to go stand in front of the solar panel. And move out the way again. <coughs> so yeah, solar panels definitely used for something. So yeah, that's good. So that's pretty much fixed. Sweet! When it runs off the solar panel and there's no sun, there won't be very much torque. So you can easily stop it. Whereas if that was running off a battery, you couldn't easily stop that. <coughs> but then again, there is, isn't any sun, so that's to be expected. Sweet. 